Echo Roll is a medium-sized company located in Celle, Germany, on the southern edge of the picturesque Lüneburg Heath. Celle is also home to several well-known international firms that produce tools and equipment for the oil industry, such as diamond-tipped tools for stone or metal machining. In a similar vein, Echo Roll develops and manufactures tools for machining metal surfaces and distributes them worldwide. Echo Roll is a customer-focused business. The technically oriented sales team provides customers with expert advice for improving product quality while simultaneously reducing manufacturing costs. Roller burnishing improves a surface's functional characteristics. Echo Roll offers an extensive selection of single and multiple roller tools for this purpose. The single roller EG tool works well for customers that produce many various sorts of parts in small and medium sized lots. The hydrostatic HG tool is especially suited for complex contours and for burnishing hardened components. Deep rolling increases the fatigue strength of dynamically loaded components. In fact, this process makes possible a several-fold improvement in the endurance limit of notched parts such as fillets or threads. Small fillets can be machined with mechanical deep rolling tools. With larger fillets, hydrostatic ballpoint tools achieve better results. Deep rolling can be applied in one setting right after cutting with either mechanical or hydrostatic tools. Because the process time is so short, and because no setup or transport time is required, deep rolling substantially lowers manufacturing costs. Echo Roll's exceptional scythe burnishing tools combine cutting with burnishing to offer an extremely cost-effective machining process for hydraulic cylinders and other tubes. Simultaneous skiving and burnishing achieves not only superior product quality, but also cost savings due to the substantially shortened process time. Extremely small or large diameters may occasionally require subsequent machining with other related tools. The motivated Echo Roll team responds creatively to market demands by consistently developing new technology and tools. The following examples attest to the company's innovative spirit. The single roller EGI-5 burnishing tool is designed to machine bores with diameters larger than 32 mm. For machining small lots with varying diameters, the EGI-5 is a cost-effective alternative to multiple roller tools. This tool can be delivered as a standalone unit or as a complete set with base tool EG-5. The set offers a universal system for machining outer diameters, faces and bores. Roller burnishing is a particularly effective method for machining seal contact surfaces. For example, rotary shaft seals require a ripple-free contact surface in order to prevent oil leakage. Some burnishing tools, however, generate ripple marks. The two-roller MZG tool actively avoids the formation of such ripples by employing a plunge-in process without axle feed. Radial infeed and the resulting spring load generate and control the burnishing force. The MZG's two rollers contact the workpiece on either side of its largest diameter. Thus, aligning the rollers is not necessary and the tool can be used in a larger diameter range. Threads play an essential role in oil industry applications. They function as connecting elements and boring rods in mechanical or hydraulic presses and in die casting or injection molding machines. Because these threads are subject to high dynamic loads, material fatigue can cause them to fail. To improve thread durability, Echo Roll's EF90 deep rolling tool introduces residual compressive stresses to increase local fatigue strength. The process often achieves a significantly increased endurance limit while simultaneously smoothing the thread's surface. The EF90 tool machines workpieces on the lathe directly after the cutting process. Echo Roll produces a wide variety of hydrostatic HG tools in many sizes. This square shank tool is the most basic design. 
For more complex applications, several tools can be mounted onto a turret. For example, these three tools mounted on a quadruple revolver are deep rolling the entire fillet and face of an axle journal. In transition areas, the machined sections overlap. During the application, the rolling force increases gradually, is sustained over several revolutions and then decreases gradually. This sequence prevents the formation of stress transitions. Adequate control of the burnishing force ensures the quality of the deep rolling process. Because hydrostatic tools offer the most reliable monitoring of this force, Echo Roll is developing a hydrostatic tool for deep rolling small fillets. Here a prototype of such a tool completes a trial run. To achieve the best results, skiving tools must be able to accurately follow the irregularities in a cylinder's linear form. That means the skiving process should both remove as little material as possible and ensure that no unprocessed areas or black patches remain. For this reason, Echo Roll's skive burnishing tools are equipped with floating knives. In contrast, conventional knives oscillate, cutting chips of equal thickness and thus preserving the existing circular form deviations in a polygon-shaped ball, for example. In a finished cylinder, such form deviations show up as ripples. Such cylinders cannot be used for hydraulic applications. Echo Roll's Omega skiving heads are equipped with either three or six floating skiving knives, each of which includes two cutting inserts arranged in tandem. This knife arrangement ensures that the machined cylinders are ripple-free. The floating knives allow the skive burnishing tool to follow accurately the irregularities in a tube's linear form. The first prototype, a three-knife Omega skiving head with a diameter of 140 mm, performed successfully in the first trial. Tubes were deliberately deformed such that their cylindrical form deviated from the circular by 1.5 to 2 mm. After skiving with the Omega skiving head, these tubes exhibited deviations of just 0.02 mm. Echo Roll recommends a cutting speed of 300 m per minute and a feed of 3 to 5 mm per revolution. These working parameters simultaneously ensure a short process time and improved cylinder quality.